In this video, we are talking about the digestive system of the phylums in animal kingdom. So, what is digestion? Digestion is breaking down the food. Suppose you are eating two types of food. You are eating rice and meat. Rice is carbohydrate and meat is protein. Carbohydrates are made up of glucose molecules. So, glucose molecules binds to each other to make carbohydrate. And proteins are made up of different types of amino acids. So, different amino acids binds to each other to form a protein. So, the function of digestion is to break the bonds between the small molecules. To break the bond, some enzymes or acids are applied. And these enzymes can break the bonds between the smaller molecules. So after digestion or breaking the bonds, the carbohydrate releases the glucose molecules and the protein releases the amino acids. Digestion can be of two types. One is intracellular digestion and the other is extracellular digestion. Intracellular digestion means the digestion happens inside the cell. So, in case of intracellular digestion, the cell engulfs the food and the lysosome inside the cell will release the enzyme on the food and the food will break down into the smaller molecules. So, digestion happened inside the cell. In case of extracellular digestion, the digestion happens outside the cell. The cells release the enzyme out of the cell and the food is broken down outside the cell. Now, let's understand the digestion in the phylums. And the first phylum is the porifera. The porifers have lots of pores in their body. That's why they are called porifera. So, their digestion happens in the cells called quanocytes or collar cells. These cells are situated in the inner surface of the porifera. So when water goes inside the pores, it carries some food particles. And these food particles are captured by the quanocyte cells or the collar cells. The collar region of this cell have some sticky substance so that the food can stick to the collar. Then by the movement of the collar, the food will go downward and the food will be engulfed inside the cell and gets digested by the enzymes of the lysosome inside the cell. That's why this type of digestion found in porifera is intracellular digestion as the digestion is happening inside the cells. After porifera in the other phylums extracellular digestion can be seen. Digestive system for extracellular digestion can be of two types. One is incomplete and the other is complete digestive system. In the incomplete digestive system of extracellular digestion it has a pouch-like structure surrounded by the cells. The cells release the enzyme and digest the food outside the cell in the pouch. It has mouth and anus in the same opening. It does not have a different opening for mouth and anus. This kind of digestive system is also called blind sac. This type is found in cnidaria and tenophorans. But they show both extracellular and intracellular digestion. The extracellular digestion happens in the pouch of the blind sac where the enzymes are released by the cells outside the cell. But some of the undigested food will be ingested by the cells and the rest of the digestion happens inside the cell. So, intracellular and extracellular both digestion is found here.
Platyhelminthes also have the blind sac type of digestive system. Thus, they have one opening for both anus and the mouth. But the digestive system of the Platyhelminthes is not so developed as most of the Platyhelminthes are parasite. That's why they directly suck the digested food from the host. So, they do not need a very developed digestive system of their own. Now, the other type of extracellular digestive system other than the blind sac is the tube within tube digestive system. In this case, the digestive system is a tube surrounded by the cells. The cells release the enzyme in the tube and the food is digested inside the tube. In this case, the opening of mouth and anus is different, unlike the blind sac system, and it is called the complete type of digestive system. This tube within tube type of digestive system is found from Ascalminthes to the caudates. In case of echinoderms, the mouth is in the dorsal side and the anus is in the ventral side. So, the incomplete type of digestive system is found in Porifera, Cnidaria, Tenophora, and Platyhelminthes. From Ascalminthes, Anilida, Arthropoda, Mollusca, Echinodermata, Hemichordata, and Cordates, all of them have complete type of digestive system. In the next video, we will talk about the nervous system of the phylums.